Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars, and I'm with my brother-in-law in his 1936 Chevrolet truck. This thing's gorgeous. I'm gonna take it for a quick drive. Show you around. Now that is all chrome dash there. That's why you, you can see me. <laughs> and it is beautiful in here. Somebody spent a lot of money doing the, doing this all in chrome. this color too this is one of my favorite colors on a classic automobile this old classic turquoise so it actually has these hangers here right there that is where the hood hangs on like that this truck has a beautiful engine detail it does have power steering i'm gonna lay that over for a second beautiful engine detail I'm going to shut her off so we can hear a little better. Ugh. Hood opens and closes easily, which is very nice. Somebody took their time, really cared about, really cared about restoring this truck. It's very pretty. It drives great. Um, I actually like the old school Krager Super Sports. We were going to put some American Racing in, uh, 17s on it uh, and kind of went back and forth actually. I had almost sold it to a couple guys and everybody said, no, leave the Kregers on it, leave the Kregers on it. So we just decided to leave the Kregers. Um, we do, like I said, we do have the American racing wheels for it. If that was something that interests you. But uh, if it was me, I might, I was thinking a little bit bigger wheel or maybe even staggering with like a 20 in the back and 18 in the front, something like that. So if you look at the truck, oh, I didn't shut this door all the way. Um, if you go down, get real picky on it. We're gonna go down the sides of the bed are immaculate. I mean like brand new. Fender wells. And then these chrome step sides are new. They look beautiful. 
The door's in great shape. Tiny little spot right there on the paint. Going around, front fender's in great shape as well. Really nice white two-tone, beautiful Chevrolet emblems and grill. Now the grill looks original and excellent. I would say call it very, very good original condition. New chrome front bumper coming around this side of the truck. Same thing as the other side. Beautiful, solid, straight, arrow straight. If you get right up on it, there's some little imperfections in the paint here, but nothing major. And then of course I left the, I mean, all this right here is, I mean, all brand new chrome uh, window, uh, windshield insert, new uh, door handles chrome step side on this side as well and the outside of this bed is aero straight as well as tailgate when you go to the inside of the bed new wood back here stained gray looks great love the color combination the insides of the bed are a different piece of steel you know it's a two-piece it's a two-piece steel and the exterior is perfectly straight. The inside looks like a work truck. It's got a little wavy. It's been beat up. You know, I mean, 1936, this thing I'm sure was used, you know, for work. But I uh, love this box, custom box, just made to hold the battery. Some extra tools, tire changing kit here. And uh, the slats are new. All the glass is in excellent shape. The chrome around the glass. Weather stripping's in great shape. Now, where somebody spent a lot of money on this truck right here is actually this dash. This whole chrome piece, is, this is all brand new. So it rolls in and out great. You can hear it seal up. It's got all new weather stripping. I don't believe the wipers are, wipers are not working, right? But they work. The wiper does work? Okay, cool. Where's the wiper right here? Oh, sure does. That is awesome. Even better. Just the attention to detail that somebody did, you know, and I think parts of this restoration, either if they had, it's either older or if they had stuff like, obviously these speakers are old. They either had those in the garage and decided to reuse them from like the 80s or this was an older restoration. Um, but it looks awesome. Here, Dennis, will you take these? The upholstery still looks like new. Diamond pleat, really nice. It's funny, actually, diamond pleat's made a big comeback now. Um, in fact, even some of the newer vehicles, I uh, just saw the Barabbas edition of the uh, Mercedes G-Wagon and it's about $350,000 and it's got upholstery that looks just like this. It's kind of funny, but you know, diamond plate has made its comeback. Or di I mean, diamond pleat is what I meant to say. Chrome tips in the back, rear bumper, all in great shape. Just wanted to show the doors open and shut. Windows roll up and down easily. And then the old original door handles function properly. Where is the radio in this thing? Is it in the glove? Oh, it's under the seat. Okay. And it works, right? Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. It's an old school. In fact, it looks like it's an old school eight track player. Eight -track. That's awesome. Still functional. I love it. Well, let's take a look up underneath the truck now. <clears throat> this thing is so solid. Of course, this is all, you know, the uh, fenders right here are fiberglass. And then steel going down the sides. Flowmaster exhaust. These floor pans are in excellent condition. Frame rails. No cuts, no welds. Super clean, all new exhaust system. And these original floor pans are in impeccable condition. Nice, solid, rust free undercarriage.
These are drum brakes, but they're power. Same on this side. I mean, these steps, these floor pans are just incredible. And I always say that underneath of a truck tells a story. I mean, look at these cab corners. They are original. This is an original steel cab. And it is just practically flawless under here. I mean, honestly, I mean, I'd say it's as good as new. Now, it always surprises me. It's in great shape. The rockers are in great shape. Cab corners. I mean, this frame, somebody found a real, when they did this restoration, somebody found a real survivor. And they picked the right, they really picked the right cab and, and bed to do this restoration. I mean, it is just really solid. And don't get me wrong, this is not an $80,000 restored truck. And I like that's what I like about it. I like how beautiful it is, how solid it is, and how drivable it is and affordable. You know, for half that price, this is a this is a great truck for under 40 grand. And uh, I mean, just stunning everywhere you go. I mean, thumbs ups, photos. So, well, there you have it. 1936 Chevrolet. Love the pre-war trucks. They're my favorite. And... Um, you just take a look at PeachtreeClassicCars.com and give us a phone call. We'd love to talk to you.